Quad. Like a boss. Hey guys, what is up? I am Kleska and welcome to Road to Commander with the Sniper, episode 10. And this is not a live commentary, this is still a gameplay I had lying around. It's a pretty good one. And I'm pretty pissed off at the moment because my Otter City, the program I used to record my voice, it crashed three times in a row and like in the middle of my commentary it stopped recording. I do not know why but it's pissing me off so I'm doing this commentary right now so I can actually keep a look at it so I don't have to discover it after the game ends. Um, and also this gives me the perfect opportunity to talk about those topics on which I failed a couple episodes ago. If you didn't watch it then I'll do a quick explanation for you. I start to talk about montages, tips for sniping for others, difference between Android 3 and Black Ops, but it was a two parted commentary and I kind of failed because I couldn't get a second part, a cool second part. So yeah, I couldn't do those, but now I am able to do those. Um, let's talk about montages first, or sniping in general. Sniping is kind of... If, if Call of Duty would have been real life, it would be a way of life. Because it kind of depends on your personality and your style of play, or which or what you would prefer because like if you're somebody who always wants to be winning and wants to like be better than the other ones then I think that one that's personality is more will, will foster choose to use a sniper but I'm hopping off to that because I'm not a psychologist or however you say that Let's talk about montages. Montages, montages. My montages have become way better in the past couple of month, months. And I know, like, my previous montage, I think it's montage 5. It wasn't really that good, but yeah. Montage 6. No, montage 4. It wasn't really that good. But montage 5, which is now common, one of my new clan members is, um, editors is editing it it's gonna be really cool really you guys should really watch it it's gonna be my best ever of course um, yeah certainly gonna tear up my level so high um, uh, moving over to Montage in general, in general um, I will get in Montage clips um, a lot of no I'm not gonna talk about the feed yet. I'm gonna talk about either your like feeds or kill cams. To be honest, I think kill cams are like they're cool to watch, but if you put a wall montage full of it, uh, I'm not really impressed because you want don't want to rely on the luck that you hit that guy with three 360s, no scope, claymore cancel, camo switch, whatever you want it. You know, you don't want to depend on luck like every single clip you get. Yeah, of course, with every clip comes luck. Like with a triple, of course, it was lucky that that guy was in that spot. But I think feats show off more skill than kill than kill cams. Even though that kill cams getting kill cams is hard as well. But that's just my opinion on it. I know a lot of guys like kill cams better. But moving on to the feet, it's kind of like the feet is kind of random because you can get five times or four times the exact same gameplay, but it can be a totally different feet. It could be like um, a quad feet or just nothing at all, or a split quad feet or something like that. And some people it's kind of dumb because you're just rating it on the um, on the random how random it is. Be but actually, if you get that gameplay, if somebody likes puts a montage full of quad feeds, then you know that that guy got like um, four quick scopes after each other or something like that. He got that gameplay enough to actually 
gets all quad feet. He has a lot of consistency because it doesn't matter for him if he doesn't get the feet. He because he'll get it another time. But like for me, I use quit speed quad feet and stuff like that because I don't get a quad feet every game I go into. Now I I know not there isn't there's nobody who gets a quad feet every game he goes into. But um yeah, you know you know what I'm saying. I'm not really the best sniper out there, but I guess I'm de I'm a decent one. And yeah. So the feed is kind of a show off of consistency of feet. So that's I think why people um rate it like sometimes overrated. You shouldn't watch like oh it's quad feet it's a nice clip but you can kind of you know see on somebody's feet if he is a consistent clip getter or huh, however you want to call it. <coughs> but now I'm gonna talk about sniping tips for others because I don't want to go too deep into this feed thingy because once again I'm not here to learn you something about psychology or something like that I'm here to entertain you um, sniping tips for others um, if you wanna well let, let's just give my opinion on sniping and how you should snipe because I really don't know how I would help others with sniping but if you wanna become a good sniper or just if you wanna become a sniper then you shouldn't give up you should really try and try you just have a bit of a trial and error and it learns you a lot really because when I started sniping I remember my KD on Black Ops it was horrible it really was and now on MW3 I am my I've, I've got a positive K, K, K oh my god I have a positive KD and I have I have 27,000 kills and I have about 20,000 kills with a sniper or something like that so yeah it is pretty good at this moment so y you can see how you get gradually better there is no one who just picked up a controller for the first time and was an amazing sniper or maybe there was one or two guys but y you wouldn't you shouldn't hope for it because the chances of that having of having that to happen is pretty s are pretty small. Um, yeah, I guess that's about kind of like sniping tips for others. I don't really have anything better than just keep trying, because that's how you learn stuff. Just to keep trying. Um, yeah. Next to that, what I think of MW3 and Black Ops. Well, well, I started gaming on Black Ops, so of course I have a um, special kind of side on that game. I love it, I really do, because that got me into all this stuff. And yeah, I think Black Ops, it's the sniping, it's challenging, but of course I think it's fun. The challenging part is, can be fun, of course I think it is. Because honestly, when you play an MW3, what is about quickscope? And like, there's nothing to it. It's so easy. But in MW3, they kind of. Oh, this is a big fail, by the way. Um, on MW3, they uh, kind of balanced it out because they made quickscoping a lot easier. They make snipers a lot better. Not a lot better, but kind of better. But then they made um, submachine guns, uh, you know, regular guns, a lot stronger as well. But um, I guess um, my time is up for this episode. So yeah, I'm Kletzka or Sander. I hope you enjoyed episode 10 of Sniper Road to Commander. Bye.